You mentioned these factors that are legitimate concerns, anxieties over immigration. Now, again, one will hear over and over again, uh, the American anxiety over immigration is xenophobia. It's just, it's mm. just immoral to, to, to think you can draw a line at the border and keep out the, the people in the south of the border have mm. immortal souls just as mm. those, well, of course, the liberal would doubt that, but they're worth, they have as much value as, mm. all right. And then the other bit one here is, is it just economically? The more immigration, the more the economy grows. And then a kind of counter argument, but still it's the argument against the, the concern for immigration. Um, immigration is slowed as Mexican as the Mexican middle class has risen and mm. partly because our economy is slow. Mm. Net, net immigration from Mexico is almost zero and net immigration from everywhere else in the world is a million people a year and in a population of 330 million you can live with that. Mm. So there are all these arguments. Why should anyone be anxious over immigration? And yet you would argue, I think I take you to argue, that it is actually a legitimate concern mm. in this country. Well, <clears throat> yes, I, I mean, Again, there are many factors, but illegal immigration has been a great concern to people. There are 10 million illegal immigrants, possibly, in this country. Um, and I think ordinary people say, look, if, some, if the first thing that somebody does when coming into the country is to commit a crime, uh, should he really be allowed to stay? You know, I think this is a very strong argument. Um, uh, of course, legal immigration which has the consent of Congress and therefore the consent and indirectly of the people is not something that uh, that people are complaining about in this uh, not in the same tone of voice in any way um, but then again you have to recognize that what is being asked of the people is to offer hospitality to those who are not currently part of their home uh, you can offer hospitality to others if you have a secure home from which to offer it. But if that home has become insecure, um, as it, it has in large parts of, of Europe because of immigration, right. then what, what are you asking of people? You're asking of them essentially uh, to deterritorialize themselves, to detach themselves from the, from the place that is theirs, you know, without giving them any alternative. The spread, another of the concerns that you mentioned, I'm quoting you again, the spread of liberal conceptions of sex, marriage, and the family. Mm. And this is a legitimate concern. I'm, it, here's the difficulty about that one. All the figures, divorce rate, illegitimacy rates, and so forth, all these are at least as high among what, it depends on how you would define mm. the indigenous working class and so forth. Mm. But. The argument could be made the, that the indigenous class has no right to be the indigenous working class. Again, I'm using your phrase. The indigenous working class has no right to be upset about these liberal conceptions of sex and marriage and the family because they're the ones who've embraced them. Mm. To which Roger, Sir Roger Scruton replies. Well, um, I, re I would reply that just that the, we all of us fall away from the standards that are required in this area. That is undoubtedly the case because this is the, the biggest area of temptation. Uh, but it is also the biggest area in which examples are needed and in which a culture of resistance is needed. That culture of resistance was absolutely vital to the protection of the working class family uh, and, uh, and especially of children uh, you know, who, who need a father at home uh, and have lost that protection. Um, and it is undeniable that it's liberal propaganda which has made it almost impossible to say the, the, those things. And it's not possible to say the things uh, that are needed in this area unless you're Charles Murray and don't care about what's said about you anyway. Or Sir Roger Scruton. Well, uh, yeah. That I mean, makes two of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the, the point is it's an area in which the truth has been made unsayable by the, the uh, liberal censorship. All right. 